was wondering how many people miss my geese. They're still here. Come on, what are you guys doing? Come on, what are you doing today? Look at them. Oh, I don't know if you can see those two. They've done a lot of work here since uh, I last did a video. I got, I got new wood on my windows and on the door there. And they dug all that out and put new rocks in there and put all new windows there. A new wood over the windows. And the geese are just hanging out still. Still a little crooked legged. But they're here. Doing a little work in the shop today. Almost all the ice is gone. Spring is coming. Cock a doodle do. Oh, look at this. Welcome back to your Dizzy shop. Oh my goodness. We're doing stuff. Got a go kart in here. We're just going to fluff it up. It, it, it looks really nice. So I'm going to clean up the seat. Um, it's got the chain, it's got the sprocket, it's got the tires, rims, everything's really nice. It's got the roll cage, seat pan. It's the uh, Pathwinder, again. I've already done one of these. I've given it to uh, 5150's son, but I have another one in the shop. We're going to probably put a bigger engine onto it, put a... Uh, not, not this quite this big but um probably a predator 212 we'll see we'll see what we get up with i'm gonna clean this all up wipe it up i actually have foamy things for the roll cage so we'll put those on i don't know if the green will look good maybe i'll go get some black ones to go with it but a little cleaning up, wash the tires, paint up the rims maybe. Rims look a little worn. But the cot's pretty much all here. I mean, uh, I'll lay her down and let you look onto it. You know, people haven't even been in you dizzy shop forever. But here's a video of you dizzy shop. For people who watch, oh. Oh, so there you have it. That's the next project. Just clean her up, fluff it up, make uh, what's here shiny or whatever. Get a good engine out of it. Uh, the, the roll cage doesn't have the bolts, so I will put some new bolts in the roll cage and uh, we'll go from there. So let's get to cleaning cleaning this up. I did vacuum it out and dust it off. It had a bunch of crap in it. Um, but now the metal needs all wiped down and tires cleaned up. All right, we got her all cleaned up. Uh, I did clean the seat up. Uh, I don't remember what I put in the last video, but uh, it is all cleaned up. I still have to get uh, bolts uh, for the cage. Uh, to lock it on, but I do have all new bolts and stuff in there, so I have plenty of that. Um, and I did find a brandy new clutch for it. I mean, brand maker no. So then I took a, a little jot somewhere, since you know most of the cart was there. I took a little jot down the street. And uh, we grab one of these, so it's got a brand new, uh, brand new Preta 212. So we're gonna slap that onto her, and uh, be able to give this go kart to another kid. Ladder six, the fire alarm. So here now, here we have it. I'm just, I just cleared a spot for it. I'm gonna take it out of the box and 
Get it set up to mount up on the Pathwinder. And so here we have it. Horizontal shaft, Predator 212. Brandy new in the box. Let's take a peek at it. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, e. Ooh, ah, e. You never know if you need those. Not if you got a real shot. Three quarter inch shaft to Dooski. Put the keyway onto it. We'll be taking that off. You never need that. Comes with the clutch of Ruski. So, here we have her. Brandy new. Right out of the box. I'm not sure why, but every single one of these comes with this like this. Oh, it's like nerve wracking. You don't ever pull it that way. You always pull it this way. And then they put the tag on wrong. So now you have to take this, turn this this way, and then the thing's all crooked. And Predator, wake up, will you? But anyways, that's going on this cot. I'm going to hook a chain to it. I'm going to hook that clutch onto it. And then it's going to hammer down. Yeah, I'd throw her in there. Probably going to have to adjust this roll cage a little bit. But uh, the chain's on there. <laughs> I just got to uh, put the uh, new clutch onto it. But first, what we're going to do is bolt her down, get her in possession. Got to get some bolts out of the cabinet. And uh, away we go. Well, all right. For, for one day, we didn't do too bad. What, it's, what it still needs um, is air in the tires. I haven't messed with that yet. Um... It needs the kill switch connect it. Um, oil, gas in the engine, and a fire up. If you look, I got the throttle connected. The throttle's here, goes down to the to the um, corresponding pieces. Friggin' right. Um, all bolted down, chains on, clutches on. Little clutch. Um, yeah, and the engine's bolted down, so uh, we got everything situated. It's got the brakes are all situated. I mean, the chain could use a little lubrication, but everything seems to uh, to work and roll properly. Without the chain falling off, so that's good. So. Stay tuned for the next video where we actually fire this up and take it for a whip or a rip. I'll take it for a rip snot. All right. You guys happy you're back in you Dizzy's uh, shop? I hope so. Getting some stuff done. Got a lot of stuff going on. Got another money mini bike in to do another go-kart up there. And I got so much stuff going on. Have another red go-kart back there. So we'll see. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. You dizzy. Well, there you have her. I haven't fired her up yet, but she's got everything. I put the uh, new bolts in the roll cage, air in the tires. She rolls beautiful. I lubed up all the uh, the bearings, even the uh, steering column, so it doesn't even make any noise as you're steering you know boom, boom, boom. nice um the chain's all lubed up like i said all the tires have air and i put new foam on on the roll cage um you know i don't think the whole roll cage needs it but it got it where it should have it so all that's left to this go-kart is just to uh put oil and gas in her and fire it up. And then I'll also uh, give it away. I'm gonna give away another go-kart from the Dizzy shop. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for some more crazy stuff. You're gonna see, um, just like 
real time. We're gonna uh, turn the fuel on. I've added fuel, I filled up the oil, put the choke on. I think the engine I think that set on, I'm not too sure. Forgot what I She find right up, right on. We took her for a spin, rip snot. What happened was I snapped the chain. So you Dizzy bought a brand new chain, brand new one, stainless steel, all, all nice and minty. Hooked her all back up, found out that clutch is a used one. And the clutch itself, when, when the shaft is spinning, as it spins, the faster it spins, those, those, um, they're like brakes go out and grab that bell and spin it around. Well, as I was whooping this around, they seem to have got stuck wide open. So it was like wanting to go full throttle all the time. So I'm actually going to rip that, that, uh, clutch right off of it and put a brand new one on. But you know, that's just a, a, a bolt. And uh, rip that off, put a new one on, quickie, quickie. But then this one's ready to go. This one's just ready to go. So thanks for watching you, Dizzy. I fixed this one, too. I don't know if you've seen that, too. But we got them everywhere. I got another one under the works right there. I got another one under the works, under the bench, and under the works right there. Got them everywhere. So thanks for watching. Be good. Stay safe. Wear a helmet. I got plenty of them. Wear a helmet. <laughs> Don't care yourselves. Peace. All right. I got uh, the new clutch here. Right here for her. Brandy new. I actually grabbed two while I was at it. Just because. So this is the one I'm going to use. And it came. That's the one it is. And it came with a uh, new bolt in here new bolt onto it so we just got to take the other one off this one here I built myself from pots that was uh, just sitting around I got a ton of pieces and pots all around the place you know so I said I'll just put one together and da -da -da. well that didn't go so well because what happened was that bell on the inside it, uh, the clutch opened all the way up and got stuck and I couldn't stop the cut I had to shut her right down you know and uh, kill switcher I was ham hogging on the brakes and you know just wanted to go so don't build a clutch because you never know what's gonna happen to it so I just ordered a new one we're gonna get that on and see what it turns out to do How about knee bags? What the hell? You don't call me crap. You want my elbow bags? Knee bags?
jock strap. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's an extra padding right there just in case. <laughs> we, we put one right on the bar. Here they come. Na 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 na